Hey guys, it's Tennessee Redneck here again. Today I want to talk to you about uh, divorce advice for men. First off, I'm going to point out that I'm not an attorney, I'm not a uh, judge, I'm not in the legal system by any means. This stuff here that I'm talking about is just from my past experiences and, you know, my opinions. But uh, divorce is something that's going to be hard. It's hard for all of us. Sometimes it's hard for you to want to talk about. But now, I've been divorced twice myself. Uh, I'm currently in a married now. I'm in a great relationship. Uh, we've been married for a long time now. Everything's gone great. But, you know, sometimes we make the wrong decisions. We mess up, marry the wrong person, whatever. whatever you know, different things will happen. However, one of the things I want to... So I want to give you some of this advice on this. First of all, I want to tell you guys, be sure subscribe to my channel uh, right now I can't put the links up on the video so you have to go down below the video uh, YouTube won't let me do that right yet it's a new channel but anyway back to the divorce subject now this advice is for men so if any women are watching this I'm sorry I'm not meaning to make you mad but this is just for the guys first of all it's an uphill battle if you're a man going to court they automatically favor the woman for whatever reason they just automatically do uh, but the best advice I'm going to give you, first of all, it's better to file first. That kind of gives you a little bit of advantage, okay? Uh, also, if you have kids involved, I'd go ahead and file for full custody of the kids, even though they're probably not going to give it to you. Uh, you can settle on joint custody. But, you know, you file first, you file for the full custody first, and that gives you somewhat of an advantage. You've got to jump start on things. Um, if you also, if you have kids, which I, you know, I have, and I went through these things, um, while you're going through a divorce, you're still going to want to take care of your kids. So if you're paying, if she, if the kids are with the with the mother, and uh, you're giving her support, don't give her any cash, don't give her any anything really other than a check, because. You can give her cash, you can write your receipts or anything like that, and that stuff don't hold up nothing for court. Um, you know, she can deny doing it, she can, you know, or whatever, and it will not hold up, and you'll turn around and have to back pay all this other money that you've already paid. Again, the court will make you back pay and pay on it. Always use a check, and at the bottom of that check in the memo, put that as for child support. And that way, there is absolute, there's proof right there. There's proof that you've paid it for child support. There's proof of how much you've paid. And there's also going to be proof when you get copies of those checks where she cashed them. And she signed her name to them. That will hold up in court. Also, don't give in on anything. Don't just go, I had a lawyer one time tell me, and I'm not down in lawyers because you need an attorney, trust me. Uh, but I had a lawyer one time tell me, hey, well, she's going to give you joint custody, so, you know, just sign off on everything else. No. No. I did. I made that mistake. Don't You don't need to do that. Uh, if you work for it and it's yours, or it's at least partly yours, you need to fight for it. And fight at least to get your half of it. Don't just sign off on it just because, hey, you got a, some crazy lawyer that don't want to give in to you or don't want to fight for it. You know, he don't want to work for his money. He just wants the money and go. So if it's yours and you work for it, you fight for it. I don't care if it's even a house. I know where people go, well, you know, it's my kid's house and everything. They grew up there. Well, you know, you're going to be out on the street if you're not careful. It's where you're going. Uh, you can make sure that your kids have a home. I'm not saying that. But, you know, if it's your house, anything else, I'd fight for it. Fight for your half of it at least. Uh, also... Uh, Things would probably go good at first, especially if she's the one that wanted the divorce in the first place. Because, you know, she's going to tell you, she's going to kind of butter you up and get you to kind of sign off, give what you want or anything else. And it may go great all the way up through the divorce is over. But it will get bad after a while, especially if you start seeing somebody else. For whatever reason, that woman's going to go crazy after you start seeing somebody else. She's going to start telling lies on you. She's going to start trying to... Um, even in some cases here, uh, try to accuse you for like child abuse or anything else. You know, you could have a kid that comes over and falls and gets a bruise. She's going to run them straight down to the child services people to try to prove you to be an unfit parent. Or she'll, she'll blame your girlfriend or your current wife or whatever. These things do happen, trust me, so you can kind of expect for it. Uh, 
like I said too, and I know a lot of it. Mine's going to cover with the kids because you know that's that's been my experience with it. One of the other things too is the kids you want to meet in a public place, preferably a police station or something like that. But uh, you know, like I said, you're going to tell lies on you. They're going to fight you every which way. But don't don't give up. Don't give in on anything. Divorce is going to be hard on you. It's going to be hard on the kids. Um, I'd advise you not to talk bad about their mother or anything in front of them. Uh, you know, do everything you can for your kids as far as that goes, if you've got kids. If not, then, you know, there's still going to be lies told on you. There's still going to be uh, battles over property, uh, you, you know, and all this sort of thing. So, you know, if like I said, if it's yours and you work for it, then you fight for it. Don't just give in on it. Um, but it's going to be a lot of emotional things too to go along with it. At times you're going to feel like your life's over. And uh, trust me, it's not. It's not the end of the world. It's going to seem like it for a while. It's going to affect your finances, your job even, uh, you know, your overall health, everything else because depression and stuff's going to, it's hard on you. Uh, especially if you really cared about them and they were, you know, they decided they didn't care about you anymore and they wanted to go somewhere else or, or whatever and they wanted to divorce you. So, it's going to be hard on you, but it's not the end of the world. And there's other people out there. There's a lot of people out there that are like me, you know, uh, that has been through this and that have turned around and, and not let it get them down and have bettered their life, you know, in, in, the, in the end. I have a lot better life now than what I ever had. Uh, I'm in a happy marriage and a happy relationship. So even though it's going to seem like it and you're going to be strung out i mean depressed you're going to be stressed and it's i mean it's going to be terrible on you for a while keep your head up because it's going to get better trust me but uh like i said there's more things with that and uh, i may make a little bit of a sequence of videos on this sort of thing but uh you know always like i said it's going to be an uphill battle for you you want to file first on your divorce uh don't give in on anything uh Things will probably go pretty good at first, but it won't stay that way, trust me. Uh, she's going to tell lies on you. She's going to try to tell everybody that you're a sorry son of a you-know-what, and you ain't worth a crap. Uh, and one of the things, too, I wanted to point out here before I end this video, that I wanted to point out the reason why I told you guys to meet in a public place. <coughs> because, excuse me, because if you go to their house to pick, them, pick up your kids, uh, Lies can be told there, and lies probably will be told there. Um, they're going to call the police on you, try to get you for trespassing. They're going to say you're harassing them. They're going to say, you know, any of these number of things. Always be in a public place where you have plenty of witnesses. But anyway, that's just a little bit of my advice. Like I said, be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, this has been from my past experiences. Uh, click that subscribe button down there at the bottom. Like I said, I can't put the link up on the video just yet. But go down below the video. Hit the subscribe button. There will be plenty more videos to come. You guys have a good day.